Hi, this is Milo with Next Technology. Today I'm going to show you how to manage your contacts and organize them in Skype. If you don't know how or have not yet downloaded Skype, please click on the pop-up and it'll take you to a video on how to download it. As you can see here, you have two tabs. You have Contacts, which holds all of your contacts, and then Recent, which shows all of your recent messages and conversations. So I'm going to be, go back to the Contacts tab so I can see every one of my contacts. There are two buttons here at the bottom. You have Add a Contact and Create a Group. We're going to start with adding a contact. So I'm going to click on Add a Contact. And here you have a window pop up with a couple of options. You can search for someone by their email, phone number, name, or Skype name. It's a lot easier if you have their email or Skype name. Let me show you why. So I'm going to search for my boss, Steven. As you can see to the right here, it says that it's searching and there's 200 matches found, which is a lot to go through. So I'm going to click on view. And as you can see, I can search through and some of them have uh, their photos available. A lot of times people mark those as private, only seen within contacts. So you see there's a Stephen Hopkins here from Phoenix. If I know that it is Stephen, then I can click on add a contact. When I click on add a contact, it'll send Stephen a request. And then once Steven accepts that request, it'll show up under my contacts tab. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to create a group in Skype. So that's that second button there. So I'm going to click on create a group. And let's say I want to create a group for everyone that I'm working with. So I'm going to click and drag my contacts here. And don't worry the people in your contacts can be added to multiple groups. Okay, so I've added everyone that I want to to my group. Now I'm going to click on Save Group and Contacts. And I'm going to name my group. So I'm going to name this Work Group. And I'm going to click OK. Now the group that you've created will show up at the last part of your contacts. See here, there it is, Work Group. A if I call a certain person a lot, then one of the things that I can do is drag that person up to favorites or that group. So I'm going to take my work group, I'm going to drag it all the way up to favorites, and now it'll show up in favorites and stay there at the top. This makes it a lot easier for me to call them quickly. Also with having a group, if I need to call them all at once, I don't have to worry about adding each one individually when I start a Skype call. So it saves me a lot of time and effort. All right. That's it on, at, on managing and organizing your contacts in Skype. This is Milo with Next Technology. Thanks for watching.